Before we start discussing the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, we need to take a moment and cover some essential information up front. Knowledge of these persons and offense levels will make your understanding of the CCP much easier. First, the CCP refers to several members of the courtroom working group. Some of the terms the CCP uses are deceptively similar, and while the public might commonly use terms like police officer and peace officer interchangeably, the CCP does not. First, the CCP makes reference to magistrates. Next, the CCP will also refer to the clerk. This person is not to be confused with the court reporter who types out everything that is said during a hearing or trial. The clerk refers to the county or district clerk. This is the elected official or their deputy who keeps official records of judicial writs or legal documents such as subpoenas, search warrants, and affidavits. Next is the prosecutor. In some counties, the felony prosecutor is the district attorney, and the misdemeanor prosecutor is the county attorney. In other counties, the district attorney handles both felonies and misdemeanors. Next is a peace officer. As previously stated, peace officer in the CCP is not the same as a police officer. All commissioned police officers are peace officers in Texas, but not all peace officers are police officers. They may be deputy sheriffs, marshals, agents, or investigators. The sheriff is the elected sheriff of each county. The CCP generally allows a sheriff's deputy to carry out the duties and responsibilities of the sheriff. However, there are many things the sheriff is responsible for that cannot be handled by, for instance, elected constables or police chiefs. A witness is someone who testifies at a trial or hearing. The defendant is a person accused of a crime. A grand jury is different than a pettit jury. In Texas, a pettit jury is a group of either 6 or 12 persons who are triers of fact during trials and decide whether a defendant is guilty or not guilty. The grand jury is a group of citizens selected by a judge that meets with the prosecutor and hears the evidence to date against a defendant. If the grand jury finds probable cause that the defendant committed a crime, then they will give the prosecutor permission to continue the case. So once again, the primary courtroom working group is comprised of magistrates, clerks, the prosecutor, peace officers, the sheriff, witnesses, defendants, and grand juries. There are other persons in the courtroom working group you'll hear referenced less often in the Code of Criminal Procedure. They are a victim, a child victim, and the parent or guardian of a child victim. Here's a few other helpful notes. First, a reference to the court in the CCP is likely going to refer to the magistrate. Judge does not necessarily equal magistrate, and attorney for the state refers to the prosecutor. Finally, we need to talk about the penalty structure for offenses under Texas law. This is different for every state and the federal government. Texas has three levels of misdemeanors. The most serious is a Class A, followed by a Class B, and a Class C, a fine-only offense. There are five levels of felonies. The most serious is a capital felony, followed by a felony of the first degree, felony of the second degree, felony of the third degree, and finally, the least serious felony, a state jail felony.